not every day we hear about a young person in our community battling cancer. Last week, Seth Howland, a 23-year-old from Rutland, allowed access to come talk with him about battling the disease at such a young age and why, during chemotherapy, he still has a smile bright on his face and a positive outlook. Just a few short months ago, Seth, a member of the Army National Guard and full-time employee at Ellison Surface Technologies, was experiencing bad pain in a place that you wouldn't want pain to surface. After meeting with the doctor, Seth was delivered the news that he had cancer. We had the lump removed and uh, we thought we were free in the clear. Walk into the CAT scan and he had some little, little more news for me than uh, what we expected. Um, they brought me in here to Dr. Eisman in this exact office and here we are doing treatment. It was then Seth and his fiancée, Savannah, were told the cancer had spread and Seth was going to need chemotherapy. When I asked how he was dealing with the diagnosis, and more importantly, handling the treatment, Seth's smile said it all. That's the biggest thing, is taking it day by day. Taking it day by day and remember to smile. Remember to sit down and everything I'm thankful for. And uh, it's definitely been a, a, a change. The, um, the, initial, the initial talk was scary. That was uh, the, easily the scariest thing in my life. Yeah, I'm not afraid of anything anymore. While Seth may not be scared of anything, that doesn't mean the diagnosis isn't worrying family and friends. It's been a crazy ride for sure. I mean, there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs, there's a lot of worries on me, but I push them aside so I can focus on his worries, make sure he's okay, make sure he's confident, and he's gonna be able to be, get through the day knowing that he's going to be okay. I'm not ashamed to say that. There has been many times where I've reached out for help already, you know, whether it be just for a little thing, for a ride to work, or for somebody to cry on their shoulder. You know, they've been there. You know, family, friends, and, and uh, coworkers. And, uh, but as far as putting things in perspective for us, you know, it, it definitely changed a little bit. You know, wanting to figure out things for our family, because of course we want kids someday. And the chemo, you know, could possibly make me sterile and not have kids, but we get everything, all our ducks lined up in a row and hope and pray for the future. Seth commends the care he's receiving from the staff at the Foley Cancer Center. The nurses, what should be a gloom, scary place is not. They make this place very happy, very upbeat, and I, f I take confidence when I come here every day with Dr. Eisman, knowing his background, and also his fill-in as Dr. Lynch. I have never felt more, more comfortable in a doctor's office, you know, and, and knowing that I'm going to be all right. Seth says it's been remarkable to watch the nurses come to work every day, Monday through Friday, ready to greet you with a smile and make sure you have the best experience possible. I go to my job with, with a smile on, but we know every day, well, you know, I don't want to go to work. It's Friday, it's Monday. They come here every day, heads up, ready to go, smiling making you feel more welcome at home. After a long day of chemotherapy, Seth and Savannah come home to unwind and talk about life outside of hospital walls. We still plan for the future. I mean, we kind of use our like wedding planning as an escape from the day to day. I like, guess once we get home and when we're unwinding, we're like, oh, well, what colors do you want for the wedding? Or where do you want to take our honeymoon? Because it helps to think beyond everything. After everything's through and done, then he's okay. So we can just, you know, have something to look forward to. The one piece of advice Seth has for all of us is to open our eyes and be grateful. I definitely, I don't think I took too much for granted, but there's small stuff that we forgot about. And I tried very hard to uh, be thankful for the smallest thing.